All right, this time we're going to simulate uh, a weatherproofing using a vinyl back mastic uh, WK2. Um, this is going to be the, the upside, this is going to be the downside, so if this is going up the tower, this end is going to be up like that. The reason I say that is because you're always going to want to start from the bottom and go up so your tape overlaps and gives you a shingling effect so the water, if it ever did get down in there, were to go over the tape. Start off, you're going to make a single wrap of tape. Nice and tight around your connector. Nice and tight because you don't want any air bubbles or gaps. And this tape will conform real nice. The reason you're putting this first layer of tape down, if you ever have to take your butyl off, if any of you have ever done this in the field, you know, and if you haven't, it's a real bear to get this mastic off after it's been on baking in the sun for a while. Just get your wrap there. Press it down, make sure there's no uh, air bubbles or anything, any inconsistencies in the tape. Grab your mastic. And you can see with the vinyl back mastic, it's not sticky on one side, it's only tacky on, on one side. You peel off your, your backing here. Starting one inch below where you started your tape. Tacky side in. Just make a nice clean wrap, pulling it firm, but don't pull it so tight that you're going to destroy your mastic. And then end up one inch. one inch above on the top and just cut it off. And you can use the, this, the rest of this on your next connector. Press it down. You squeeze it tight. Make sure that it's nice and tight against the cable. Anywhere where water is going to get in just press it down nice and firm. Then you're going to make, want to make three wraps with your tape. Again, starting at the bottom, making one wrap up, then down, then finishing with a wrap up. Start about an inch below where that mastic is. You want to pull this tape nice and tight. Give it a nice clean look. But mainly, if you have any air bubbles or any gaps or any wrinkles in your tape, that's where the water's going to get in. That's what the inspectors will be looking for. Electrical tape has a lot of stretch to it, so when you tug on it, you can really get all the, the blemishes out. Make it look real nice, and neat, and clean. Just continue on. Come up about an inch above where your mastic left off on top. around and go right back down. You're going to be overlapping your tape about a quarter inch as you're wrapping. Uh, we uh, did the other wraps, shut off the camera for a bit. We're just going to finish up. This is the third wrap going up. Just come up a little bit past where your last tape left off. 
bring it back down a little bit. And then always cut your tape off. Snip it off. Pull a little bit off. The reason you're doing this is you want to get that last couple of inches on there nice and loose. Press it down there. The reason for that is if you were to take this, you make your last wrap, you just pull it off with your hand and stick it on there. A day or two, the pressure from that is just going to peel it right back off. It'll be fraying and just swaying in the wind there, and uh, it'll just start unraveling. And that's what it's going to look like when you're done. That's it.